My name is Mrs. Judith Esiama. I'm the director of nursing and midwifery services of the University of Ghana Medical Center. I'm one of the trained infection prevention control regional facilitators for Greater Accra region. We're going to talk about three types of face masks. I have the one with the strings, the one with the loop, and then I have the N95 or the respirator. With the strings and the loop one, we have reusable ones, which can be washed and reused. And they are the homemade ones that now we are all people are sewing and even selling by the roadside. So this is the re, a type of the reusable one. When you use it, you can wash it, you iron it, and then what? You pack it into a Ziploc bag and reuse it again. Before you touch the face masks, you have to sanitize your hand with the hand sanitizer. The most important thing about the sanitizer is the percentage of the alcohol. So you have to check whether it falls within 60 to 90 percent. And this one is 70 percent. So I'm going to use the sanitizer to sanitize my hand. I'll take three mils. I'll dip my finger into the sanitizer, pour it into the other palm, dip my other fingers inside. Then I'll do palm to palm, palm to dorsum, to the other side again. I will interlace and then I'll cap. I will do my thumbs, then the wrist. If your hands are still moist, just go over the steps and everything will evaporate. I'll now pick my string face mask. It has a string at one of the edges, so make sure that one is facing upwards as it will fall on the bridge of the nose. You hold it by the strings and then put it on your face. It falls on the nose and the mouth. And then you tie the upper one above in a bow tie fashion. Then you tie the lower one down, making sure you don't cross. We don't cross for a reason. So that when there is a splash and you want to take it off, you just remove the bow tie fashion. Then you now adjust the face mask to fit the face. And you pull to cover the chin. You press the string here at the bridge of the nose to hold it tight. So that's how we put on the face mask. And as you can see my back, I have not crossed. When you want to take off the face mask, you have to sanitize your hands again by using the sanitizer. The same steps, palm to dorsum, you interlace, you cap the thumb, and then the wrist. Now you are going to undo the lower strings first. So you release the bow tie, then you hold the top one also. and you release. If you release it, don't drop it. Just hold the strings together like this and then you drop it into the appropriate bin. If this face mask is a reusable one, because you will use it again, don't touch it from the outside because the outside is contaminated. Hold it from inside out like this and then you fold it and then you put it into a clean receptacle be it a ziplock or a polythene when you get home you have to find warm water and then put in a detergent and then you wash it after washing you dry it on the sun and then you iron and then put it back into the ziplock so that's how we use a string type of surgical face mask the next one I'm going to talk about is the loop type. I've sanitized my hands already. I'll pick my loop face mask. After picking the loop face mask, I will locate the string. It's very important because that part will fall on the bridge of the nose. So always it should be what? Upwards. So that's the loop. I'll hold the loops together, put it on my face, and then I'll hook it on my two ears. Now I have to pull it to cover my chin, very important. Then I'll press the string 
to hold them loose. That is the loop face mask. I want to remove my loop face mask. I have to what? Sanitize my hands again. So my fingertips, palm to palm, palm to dorsal. Then I will interlace, I will cap, I will attend to my thumbs, then the wrist. I'm now going to hold the two loops together like this. And then I'll take it off. If it is a reusable one, I'll hold it from inside out. And I'll fold it nicely. And I'll put it into a receptacle, a rubber, or a Ziploc bag. I will then what? Prepare my warm water with detergent. I'll wash it nicely. I'll dry it on the sun and iron. And then put it back into a Ziploc bag. The next one I'm going to talk about is the respirator, also known as what? The N95. I sanitize my hands and I pick this mask. Before you wear it, you have to locate where the string is and let it face outwards. So that is it. You will then let the rubber loops fall off and then place the mask into your palm like this with the string facing outward. Well, that will fall on the bridge of the nose. You will bring it towards your face like this, and then you take the first one. So the first one will come here like this. You then pick the second one, which will also come like this, down. When you finish, you have to check whether there are leakages. But before that, you press the ring to fit the bridge of the nose. In checking for the leakages, you use your four fingers to touch the two sides and press. So you do it like this. Then you breathe in. When you breathe in, the pointed part will draw back. So when you breathe out, it brings it out. It tells you that there are not, no leakages. So that's how we wear the N95 or the respirator. When you are done and you want to take it off, you go through the same steps. You have to sanitize. So you do the same thing, palm to palm, palm to dorsal. You interlace, you cap, you attend to the thumbs and then the wrist. In removing the N95, we do it the same. We are not going to touch any part of the mask. You just tilt your head forward a little bit. Then you hold the first one like this. You bring it. Then now you take the last one here. Then you hold it like this. Then you drop it into what? The appropriate bin. When you are done, you have to sanitize your hands again. You don't have to feel lazy when it comes to you using the sanitizer. Because research has even proved that the alcohol hand wrap is the best. And hand washing with antibacterial soap is better. And then hand washing with plain soap is good. So sanitization of our hands is very good. And we must all encourage it. We are even lucky. Nowadays, we have the sanitizers in what? Smaller sizes, medium sizes. You can get one and put it in your bag. So now that the wearing of masks has become compulsory in our country, when we wear masks and we want to change, when we wear masks and we want to touch it, we can all sanitize our hands before touching the face masks. Thank you very much.